How is it going, everybody? Steve from Perfect Reload here, and we are checking out probably the biggest new release of the year so far. This is Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, out now on pretty much every platform. This is the PC version we are going to be checking out. Uh, so the demo came out last week, so I have a little bit of familiarity with the game. However, the demo was not necessarily the beginning of the game. It was kind of crafted uh, sections of the game. Um, I don't remember. What, there we go. Right trigger was the slide. Uh, so it wasn't necessarily starting from scratch. We are starting from scratch here. I figured, why not? Um, it, I enjoyed what I played out of the demo. Um, it is taking uh, Prince of Persia to a Metroidvania uh, style uh, experience. And I just noticed there is no, why are we no sound? Yeah. There we go. A little hiccup with the game there, unfortunately, but we have our sound back. Um, but yeah, kind of this hack and slash, uh, stuff. You do get, uh, other abilities as you go on with the game. Uh, if you played the demo, you had like a bow and arrow that you could, uh, you could mess around with. Um, None you and you can level up, uh, over the course of the game. You saw that necklace that he was wearing. You can kind of add on to that. It'll give you, um, new abilities. Um, one of the things I like with this game is because it is a Metroidvania game and those are prone to leading uh, players to end up get feeling a little bit lost at times. There's two different ways to play this game. There's a guided version that will give you uh, objectives and kind of point you in the uh, the right direction, you know, along your journey. And there's one that just kind of turns all that stuff off. Uh, if you'd prefer to have maybe a, a little bit more of a challenge and, and maybe uh, prompt you to explore uh, a little bit more. Um, and then there are multiple uh, difficulty settings. We're just playing on normal. Um, I typically, in my personal time, I play everything on easy. Uh, when I am not playing this game, you know, for the purposes of uh, the channel, I probably will be playing it on the easier mode because uh, I just kind of want to uh, experience the story. And, uh, you know, I don't know if it ends up being too easy. You know, I have no problem, you know, cranking it back up or anything. Um, I am excited to get into this. When, when we first saw this last year, I believe it was Summer Games Fest. Uh, was kind of the debut of this. Uh, I was very impressed with the way it looked. Um, I, you know, was very happy that it was getting a, you know, a not too far in the distant uh, release date. Uh, you know, it released on time. Um, it's getting rave reviews for the most part, for, you know, from what I can tell. Um, some of the, uh, the game podcasts that I listen to have been uh, checking it out. And uh, everybody seems to really be enjoying it. And I think it's a nice new direction for this franchise that has kind of been dormant. You know, obviously, you got a lot of uh, praise when the, the series kind of reinvented itself uh, in the 2000s on the, uh, the PlayStation, Xbox, GameCube era. Um, I didn't play a lot of those. I'll be honest with you. I didn't really check those games out. I remember renting probably one or two of them along the way. Uh, but I remember the original Prince of Persia actually playing that on a, on a PC. Uh, I believe it came on like a, some type of weird bootleg compilation disc that I got along the way. And uh, this kind of brings it back to that in, in a weird way with it being side scroll. Um, I think the, uh, the combat here has been uh, pretty fluid. Uh, everything feels pretty nice. Um, you know, obviously going to like the true beginning of the game here. Uh, you know, it, it's a little odd going off the demo because you don't have the abilities that you, you had there. But, uh, you know, I think it's also, you know, you're going to have that progression. You're going to get that reward of uh, progressing through the game and unlocking new things. And, uh, you know, that's that's kind of what, you know, the Metroidvania style is all about, aside from, you know, exploration and finding cool stuff. Um, I haven't played a lot of <clears throat> Metroidvanias in my lifetime. You know, I, I, I did play quite a bit of Castlevania growing up. Um, I had access to a original Nintendo and a babysitter and she had, um, the, you know, the first three, uh, and I remember playing those as a kid, playing Symphony, Symphony of the Night, uh, played a handful of the later releases, uh, oh, what was the, there was a really good Game Boy Advance one, was that, that Aria of Sorrow or was that the, the DS one? I, I can never remember the, uh, the, you know, titles to them, you know, they all just kind of get jumbled up in my head, but uh, I really enjoyed those. And then, you know, as roguelikes have kind of uh, become in vogue over the past decade, um, 
you know, a lot of those have, have really kind of embraced the Metroidvania style Dead Cells, Rogue Legacy, stuff like that. I'm very, very big Rogue Legacy. Um, absolutely loved Rogue Legacy 2 a couple of years ago. Um, so I'm no stranger to the genre, but it's not necessarily, you know, my first kind of go to when when stuff, you know, if, if I hear the term Metroidvania, I'm not exactly uh, chomping at the bit, you know, uh, but I thought this presented so well. The trailers they did made this game look like a million bucks. You know, the hype is there. I've been excited for months. And uh, it's nice to kind of have a big game, you know, to kick the year off right in uh, right in January. Last year wasn't until oh, was it the end of February or something like that when Hogwarts Legacy came out, and then uh, Star Wars followed uh, not long after. Um, oh, we got a boss fight. Um, but it's nice to be uh, just a few weeks into. Uh, ooh, try to block that. Um, oh, we actually. Oh. Okay, I think that one you have to jump out of here. Carried in. Ooh. Ooh, that was bad. That'd be a little bit. Okay. God. Ooh. Yeah, you gotta be quick to get back to that uh, that left trigger. Where are you going, bud? You got it. Oh, kick right there. The boot to the jaw. Yeah, where you're not so hot when you're... Oh, you don't have a horse now. And then he just stabs right in the chest. Yeah, I'm still trying to get that timing down. On... Ooh, this isn't good. Ooh. I thought I had him there. Oh, maybe we can't. We must not be able to uh, to die on this because I'm out of health. Mm, I think the game kind of gave us that one. <laughs> I don't think we necessarily won that fight. Be bad if a protagonist is just killed off in the first, uh, where are we, seven minutes in? <laughs> Death has come for you. Uh, if you played the demo, um, I don't think this is going to be spoiler stuff. Uh, it's kind of the milieu for Prince of Persia, you know, some, some time travel shenanigans uh, going on. But Dave, what you... enemies try to take advantage right, my dog of the was uh, they will soon grinding his face up the, the kingdom's bravest warriors will be their undoing this is kind of your crew that you're uh, setting out with um obviously you're gonna meet some other characters along the way but um you know you got your, you got your you got your, ago, you got your your home boys the divine home girls graced my shoulder thus showing his trust in me to guide our people today I, Tamiris, Queen of Persia, praise your valor and loyalty, immortals. Oh, is that what it is? Are we immortal? Maybe that's why we can't die? Saved the that can't be true, right? Because why would you have health bars? Step forward, Sargon. Ooh, are we the Prince of Persia? Word of your deeds precedes you through the streets of Persepolis. Accept this royal sash. Ooh, royal sash. I've always wanted a sash. You know, like Homer Simpson style, or just as senator. The Rashabah. Live in my solid gold house, drive my rocket car. I didn't choose that name. You need not worry. I do not attach any. Oh, he is the prince of superstition. The winds also I thought he might have been his servant because he was just kind of standing there holding the sash. Truly glad to meet you, Sargon. Thank you, Princess San. Let us drop the honorifics. And may we get to know each other in less formal circumstances. He just sack taps him. Hassan. We're bros now. All right. We have our sash. Sash acquired. Some uh, dialogue type stuff. Oh, press up to talk. We owe this victory it's to one of those. Rashabar. Just watch out. The Rashabar is... I do not believe such stories. 
That is all that matters. Okay. No. Oh, we talked to this guy. Long live the house of Tamik. Okay. Okay. Your here. name brings hope to Persia and is feared by the enemy. Maybe. I assume, you know, Persia doesn't exist anymore. This is what actually happened in Persia. They just kind of time traveled out of existence. They they only uh, they're only around in this game and civilization. We're somehow the only immortals left here. <laughs> the others are probably letting loose. I like this kind of like paintbrush stylized. Not all warriors belong. I don't, I don't know if I would say like cartoony or comic book style, but you know it's kind of stylized look to it. I, I like it. I, I think it's good for the character portraits. All right, let's head out. Can we talk to this person. Yes, we can. Ooh, this is they're obviously special. They get a little cutscene. I defeated Yuvishka, and we saved Persepolis. Did we? Thousands. I think the uh, the voice acting is solid, especially because, honestly, a game like this, with this style of like having the character portrait and and the subtitles, which is very kind of like RPG ish. A lot of times they don't even bother with uh, voice acting for the, these kind of conversations. You know, they'll save it for like the big animated cutscenes and stuff like that. So it's kind of nice that this is all. You know, fully voiced. Warrior's journey is always one in, and when there's nothing left in one's path, the warrior wanders. What is at the end of my blade? I n found an answer yet. Oh. I will figure that out tonight. Maybe a drink will help. Thanks, but I you have what it takes to become one of the. I know. She's too tough to hang out and party. And listen to Varum. <laughs> All right, she's off to do her own thing. We are just going to stand here in an action pose. Okay, well, before we uh, head out, see if there's anybody over here. There's this oh, we just ran Don't right into one. All right, we are off. an inconvenient way to traverse uh, your own living quarters. <laughs> we don't need ladders. Stairs? What are those? Nonsense. He looks nothing. He took everything from his mom. That's all. All right. You are really not her type. Who's type? Ah. Okay. The hero of the day. <laughs> the queen's new protege. So. You're mingling with aristocracy now, eh? The guy's beard seems in highly inconvenient. Laugh all you want. Who eliminated a general tonight, huh? Don't encourage them, Sargon. It just means you've. I think that dude in Five Finger Death Punch that had the dreadlock He's beard right. started a whole trend of video impressive. game characters having to have uh, you want to talk more weird quietly? beards and be dreadlock sideburns and all sorts of dumb stuff. Was Varun still with you? Yeah, he's in the throne room. So that must not pay him. I imagine there's gonna be something bad here. Uh, that's gonna be so, happening. Will you still remember us now that you're? <laughs> the woman is very large. Humble. Oh. Unless we are quite short. Sounds like Anahita said you. Um. I think she is just sort big. of. She's, she's a know, big lady. It is amazing what you did. You should be proud of yourself. One of our own eliminated the Kashan. All right. And you are the White Lion's prop. You ragtag bunch of immortals. <laughs> and with Sargon's bravery, we made the city safe. This is cute, but our usual halt has... I feel like this is like them all talking about going to, like, drink and celebrate. Oh, okay. I was going to say, this it seems like it is leading up to something bad happening. Take the lead, Sargon. You may be the last to have spoken to him. We must find Prince Hassan. All right, let's go. I assume we're gods. heading. Whoa! Oh, Don't appear to be in in disguise. Dead. Uh oh. That's 
I can handle one ninja lady. I cannot handle three ninja ladies. So that's an illegal textbook somewhere. Athra is a sacred energy that burns in every living being. In battle, the greatest warriors can control their Athra, intensifying its light to use exceptional abilities. All right. We will generate it by attacking. And then we can use a surge. Okay, let's use a surge. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing better to start off an evening with a group stabbing. Ooh. Yeah. Always bad with figuring out parry, parry timing. Doesn't matter what game it is. <laughs> yeah, projectiles now? See if I can just let them hit it so I can. Okay, I'm way too. Wow. Okay, I am doing very poorly. I think the plan is to just stay on offense. <laughs> Maybe that's what works best for us. Okay, we got that one. Maybe the projectiles are a little bit easier to. Uh, Anahita, what is this all about? I wasn't planning on killing you, Sargon. Stay out of this. You traitor! Move out of my way. Bad. What the hell was that? Ah, uh, still a child. Don't you know a circular ground light mysticism charm when you've seen one? Gee. I think he got through it. I think he can outrun a horse like this. Uh oh. That's what's when he wasn't just a flare. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's got a bone leg. That means he's dead. Was that a red? Was that a red pack? Oosh. All of his red or attacks he's red attacks. You just kinda have to bounce out of the way with him. It's easy enough. Oh no, it's not. I thought we were immortal. I do really like that this just has a classic like game over and not uh, you know, you died or or whatever, like, I, I like that. It's kind of a nice little touch. Ooh. That one is hard to get, to get. I mean, instead of jumping over him, I need to use. Nope. Okay, sliding also. Wait, wow. Okay. Wow. <laughs> This is why I play games on easy, because I'm terrible at them. And everybody watching is going to be like, you stupid idiot. You have no idea what you're doing. You should have done X, Y, or Z. They told you how to do it. You didn't pay attention. There we go. I think we did. We probably should have used that big, like, First attack, I kind of forgot about it. I saw the light. Anahita, what is going on? Sargon, who was it? I thought I recognized Anahita. Is she involved? Yes. Uh, yeah. She totally, is. dude. Without a doubt. Baram, gather your forces. You are to leave for Mount Karf at once. In Mount Karf! Ardashir and his soldiers are already on the way. 
We will not fail you, Your Majesty. Bring him I believe that's where the demo picks up. They, they reference Mount Kaf in uh, while they're talking with each other. Yes. Okay. We are in familiar territory. The old citadel. Anahita took Prince Hassan beyond the- I can't fathom why Anahita would- Sargon, you know her best. It doesn't make sense. She is- She wants to seize power for herself. Oh, what do you even mean? Well, she had a very stereotypical lone wolf personality, but the mighty god briefly met her. Mount Did nobody else pick up on Perhaps that? Still does. It has always been the Samorg who appoints future kings and queens. We need to add more GHs to words. Mm. Anahita probably wishes to receive the Simorg's blessing. But why kidnap Prince Hassan? She needs him. The gates to the Simorg temple only open for members yeah, of the Okay, Christmas. well, there's your motive. You will never get the Simorg's blessing. We can't be certain. After all, the Simorg may be weakened. One thing's for sure Prince Hassan is in danger. Immortals, follow me. All right. Let's get cracking. Hello, horse. Wait for me here. Don't worry. And then we never see him for the next 25 hours. Lost in Mount Kaf. Yeah, we don't even have the menu yet. That's right. You have to meet the little girl first. Or not the menu, the map. Old Royal Road. Cough. Been here before? No, but I've read about it. This place was once the site of religion, medicine, astrology, Ooh. geometry, algebra. Eh, we don't need that. Was gathered here. Mount Cough was home to a great citadel of Who needs wisdom. Them? And? What happened? No one survived to tell the tale. Who knows what might await us? Mm, all right. Ooh, big cat. Get to the yeah, you can. What is this sorcery? That's I'm cool, a warrior, floating, not a seer. I'm a sucker for like broken apart floating uh, statues and games. We think it's kind of a As neat look. Had stopped. You mean the sands of time have stopped? Oh, reference. Down here. Skeletons. Jail cell. Earned a Ubisoft achievement. Stay sharp. Prince Hassan can't be far now. Something is not right here. We must proceed with caution. Sure, man, Elias. You can scurry from shadow to shadow like frightened vermin. I'm serious, Orod. There's a strange presence here. I can feel it too. And there's only one way to find out. Ha 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 ha! Let's go then. I always need a very gung ho, giant muscular man. Every group needs one. Now everybody's dead. Look kind of mummified there. Their eyes are. Baram, this is Azad, one of Ardashir's men. Long dead, judging by the rot. How is that possible? They left not long before us. Uh, they didn't 
doesn't seem normal. We are not welcome here. <laughs> Stay on your guard. We will find the prince in Anahita. Nobody wants to have a discussion about what that was. Just okay. We go east. Magic. No, don't go anywhere. You'll only slow me down. You're on your own. All right. Oh, bye, friends. Oh, no. Not more dead people. Ooh, now we're collecting gems. Give me gems. Combat is satisfying, even without like a lot of like bells and whistles right now, you know, without having stuff uh, upgraded. It is, uh, it's pretty satisfying. I did that, uh... Mighty Samurg, the bird of knowledge, the Samurg holds the key to all truth. He is the guardian of time and destiny, keeping everything in balance. Infinite power resides in his feathers. His protective flight brings peace and prosperity to Persia. Those lucky enough to be touched by his shadow are forever protected from the forces of evil and misfortune will befall anyone who tries to harm him. Let the poet sing of his exploits. Let philosophers meditate on his teachings. Let warriors gain his wisdom. That's the uh, opening paragraph to my resume. I don't know how they got that. It must be on uh, Indeed. Stock of your Ubisoft. I do like the, uh, the directional indicator. That's nice to have. Uh, how he bounced off the wall there. That was nice. Hey, that bomb brought us right to him. Wish that uh, they would attack a little bit more. I, I know for certain I said it to that normal difficulty. I'd like to practice that parry, but it seems like uh, every time you... Uh, attack these lower level guys it kind of drops them out of their uh their attack uh animation or attack sequence justice in the measure of all things from the plains of fars to the nile valley Ooh, myth Ooh, ears of wheat barley agalops and einkorn einkorn is finkel hey it's a big tree 
Oh, here's that little girl. What are you doing here? The Don't worry about me. I know the Citadel better than anyone. I know every step. I even go where You know that she's part. a tough young girl because she I has a feather in her hair. With every creature. And they I did kind of lean a little hard on the tropes in this one. Like this one. But eh. You know, it's kind of to be expected, I guess, with a game like this. Special. They're called Whack Whack. Whack Whack. They have the purest of Athra. So, stand beneath it. Oh, there are many Whack Whack trees throughout Mount Calf. Tell me, you say you know all here. We're in search of soldiers like us. Have you seen anyone like that? A prince? There hasn't been a prince here in so long. I've only seen you. I think we might be in a different well, timeline now. You your friend in Mount Calf. Then you're going to need an eye of the wonder. What's that? It's a very rare, very ancient thing. And I just so happen to have one. Here you go for free. Now we can see the map. Look at that. Look at that. We came from over here and now we're over here, but we could go up there. Maybe over here. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Hey, I might as well show you a neat trick to rem I do like this. You can kind of mark your own points of interest on the uh, on the map. You know, it's not kind of predetermined like a lot of other games in the style are. There we go. Thank you, Miss. I don't. My name is Faraba. I'm Sargon, warrior of the immortal. Oh, doesn't that sound impressive? Well, Sargon, I'll share my discoveries with you when I can. But I'll need time crystals. Time crystals? What are time crystals? Oh, it's one of the many currencies <laughs> in this game. Uh, you know, this is a Ubisoft game, so there are 17 different currencies. We already have full health, but I don't think we can get up to that. Yeah, we can venture forth. Ah! Shield is no match for me. But now I, I wanted them to attack me. Now they are, and I'm still messing up the fairies. Ow. Come on, let's do it again. There we go. I'm somewhat capable. Ooh. Shards. touch it uh oh okay for a second i was like is did we just trigger some massive boss you swing this Sargon, up here. I'm working on it dude oh i got stuff that flies how are we supposed to contend with this Take the prince to the Simor gate. Oh, we found her. Well, at least the prince is still alive. Anahita, I guess. Don't you dare harm him. If you want Prince Hassan. I'm like 12 I jumps away from getting to you. Stand there. Anahita. 
Look at the prince is just like, doo, doo, doo. like he doesn't seem to care. Anahita was here. She's taking her son to the Simor Gate. Then Artaban may be right about her wanting the throne. That thing above us. I'm not sure. I just got Let's here. Get to Hassan and Anahita. We must but if you hit it three times, sisters? stuff happens. That's not possible for either of us. Maybe Menelaus can help. Barum sent him to the east to investigate the forest. I'll try to find him. I think in the demo, we hit the bow at this point. So yeah, it's kind of cool that they gave you uh, different abilities. Okay. So we can't get there. Whack, whack, tree. Find him in the forest. Oh, is this where we get the bow? Oh, is this just a refill if we have it? Very good. Stand here and let something happen. Oh. Well, they took control away from it, so. Oh, there we go. My controller, uh, <laughs> controller decided to stop working. I was like, man, what's going on? Man, that is this the right way? What's this? Oh, fast trap. Oh, nice. Okay. Mage. Oh, there's a uh, item person here. Yes, there is. What's what up? brings you here, traveler? My allies and I are in pursuit of a traitor. Then you and the others are trapped here. Oh, cool. Too. Well, at least you know Carf has seen its share of beware, warrior. I've seen my share of death. Even the most determined of warriors. It's unique. Just know that I'll make good use of this. Right. Got a new item. New amulet. Very nice. Welcome. Okay, she takes the crystal crystal. Old currency creatures. We must be able to use some do something with those later on. Potion efficiency. Nope, oh, there we go. Well that's good. Ooh, yeah, why not? Put it on there. Some max health. Yeah, I think we'll take the max health over. Uh, We're just kind of in it now at this point. I like that. It's cool. The enemy could like kind of fall. That's neat. I like the. Oh, jeez. Try it. Wow. Try. Look at the hang of this one of the Oh, what we got here? This seems bad. Hey, it's the Sands of Time! Jake Gyllenhaal! Ooh, a big mystery. Side quest. Ooh, Daniel. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. Kind of unlock this poem, maybe, or... Or a poem, but some type of writing. So we want to go to the left and down. How do we do that? Go back this way. Oh, we're just going down. Huh? 
to jump. Are you Maybe seems like a bit higher level. If we're supposed to be down here. <laughs> this seems like a little bit more advanced than what we've been doing up till here. Oh, well, we opened the gate. Okay, well, yeah, that worked out. Oh, are we stuck though? Another one of Ardashir's men. Oh, he's not. Alive, he's not corrupted to kill us. So much time has passed. What you only got here last night? One single night. Oh, 30 this years, last 30 years. This place is a prison. There is no way out. Well, they kind of shut the door on us. Also, I just noticed this bird's been following us around. All lost in the citadel. Is the girl the bird for a warrior? If a soldier is to die, my insignia. My right. brothers in arms will give me. All right. Another side quest. All right. We got a long way to go to get to our dude here. Kind of telling us where we need to go. Big puzzle. All right. Well, I think that's probably a pretty decent uh, point to uh, to leave off with Prince of Persia, the Lost Crown. Uh, I am digging it so far. I'm going to be spending more time with it. So if you catch next week's uh, podcast on Monday, I will uh, have more to say about it. Uh, I uh, I would recommend it if you're if you're on the fence. This is what I did because I was kind of on the fence with this game. Not necessarily, you know, I was very excited to play it, but I was on the fence because. Do I want to purchase a game that I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish? I don't know how hard it's going to be. Do I want to just beat my head against the wall? So what I ended up doing was I just paid for a month of Ubisoft Plus uh, to essentially try the game out. And, you know, I'll happily, if I'm still playing it at the end of the month, I'll happily pay for another month to, uh, to con continue on with it. But I would recommend maybe doing something like that. Um, if, you, if you subscribe to Ubisoft Plus, it does have functionality on both PC and Xbox. So you can, you know, you can you can do it on either platform. Um, I believe Ubisoft Plus is on PlayStation 5 now. Um, but when I did this whole thing, it didn't mention I didn't see any PlayStation uh, mention anywhere. It was just like, hey, you can, you know, sync your account to, to Xbox. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, I think it's a it's a good start to the year. Uh, it's been a while since we've had kind of a really high profile metroidvania out there a lot of them have kind of been in that 30 dollar or less you know maybe indie tier you know this is a triple a publisher putting it out um so yeah i'm i'm excited to uh to dive further in uh but that's going to do it for me and we'll see you again real soon